So I'm Bernard Montel and I'm the technical director for EMEA uh, for Tenable. So m m the MIA region is, is very important for us. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big region, uh, we know, uh, with a lot of countries and um, the cybersecurity um, you know, trends and, and the concern in this region um, is important. You know, we have critical infrastructures, we have industry, um, and so for us it's, it's a very key region. So one of the new products is Tenable Cloud Security. Uh, we made an acquisition in October uh, on uh, a cloud security platform. Uh, we call that in our industry Synap. Uh, and then uh, this JISEC, we are launching it uh, for this, um, you know, for the Middle East region. The, the response was very positive because, you know, we see in this region the start of the cloud, you know. Uh, we, we have seen the grown from on-prem, um, classical IT infrastructures, and the cloud is coming step by step in this region. In different kind of countries, we'll have also different journey to the cloud. And I thought it was important for us because, and for our customers, we Tenable are providing solutions on-prem and in the cloud. We don't believe that all of the customers will go 100% in the cloud. We believe in that hybrid approach. So the fact that we can continue to help them in that hybrid approach, which is on-prem solutions like Tenable OT security, Tenable security center, the, the vulnerability management we are providing on-prem. And in the meantime, if those customers are, have a journey to the cloud, we want to be the partner to that journey, helping them to be able to identify exposure on-prem and in the cloud with that hybrid approach. So the answer to this uh, you know, uh, new approach uh, was, well, you know, received because of that hybrid approach. So if we step back, uh, we need to understand that as m the time you move to the cloud, the attack surface is expanding, okay? And when I say moving, is really expanding to the cloud. So the way that the technology is ex expanding to the cloud, the attack surface is expanding the same way. So yes, it's a new threat mechanically. Now, there is another part. For the past 20 years, you know, we are trying to secure the same way classical assets with prevention, detection, and response. Now, we're moving to a new space where everything is different. You know, cloud providers are providing 300 services with microservices, with serverless. How can you de deploy, for example, an EDR when you don't even have an OS? You know, so everything is new. So they have to rebuild and rethink everything from scratch regarding how to secure the cloud. The complexity of the cloud is something which is most of the time rightly evaluated. As soon as you understand this is quite complex, you do understand that the security needs to be adapted to the cloud as well. So that's why I think uh, this is new threat as well. So we're doing that with that acquisition we've done with that platform, Synap platform, securing the entire use cases of the cloud from prevention to detection, but also mainly around use cases like understanding the exposure, understanding the misconfigurations, understanding misconfigurations from the infrastructures to the identity. The element of identity is super important. One of the main barrier the perimeter in the cloud is identity-based. If you have a wrong access, then you leave your services exposed to the cloud. So that is one way. The second way is we don't consider that cloud security isolated. We believe on the fact that that information needs to be fed into a platform, our Tenable One platform, linking the data between on-prem and cloud. So by Doing that, we have that capacity, as I said at the beginning, to have a hybrid view and not siloed it, like cloud in one hand, identity on the other hand, uh, classical asset on, on the third end, and OT in one space. We can cover those four spaces, but we bring them all together. That is something which we, we are doing which is different. So one message is um, think out of the box, you know, don't believe that if you are 
fixing one part of your attack surface, you're done. You have to have a data-driven approach and then the exposure need to understand holistically all of these visibility of the, across the entire attack surface.